Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Say hello to the Lala Club. Today I've got a very informative video. Pagos and the end of people like forever. Interested? Well, let's jump right into it. We all know Pagos has a struggle because of the light crime, and it seems like the light farming options are really limited. There's the forge, the dragons, the level sync method, and just plain out grinding out MMs. All of them sound absolutely exhausting. The forge and dragons were by far the most painful. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Enough already with the feeble light. It really feels like I'm wasting my time over there with these feeble lights. The level sync method is pretty decent, but most of the time we're just seeing more of those feeble lights. Occasionally we can get bright, but what if we could do even better? I finished four weapons, and I've tried a lot of different light farming techniques, and I started to learn a lot about light. Light follows some very simple rules in my testing. Number 1. Monsters above your level give good amounts of light. A level 36 monster, for example, will give gentle light without any chain bonus. Monsters always give higher amounts of light on 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 chain kills. Number 3. Light gains on kill is RNG. The only way to increase this RNG is to increase kill speed. Number 4. Adding party members diminishes the amount of light you get. These four, four rules are proven by all of our light game methods that we already have and know about. The level sync method is good and popular because increased kill speed equals more chances of light. While the level sync method has a nice chance of giving decent light on the multiples of 5 chains, the wolves themselves give only feeble light on regular kills. Now lots of feeble lights can add up, but it takes an absolute ton of feeble to equal even just one gentle light. This method is still strong compared to, say, the Double Dragons, because Double Dragon suffers from slow kill speeds, as well as lower light gains overall due to a full party of 8. The Forge suffers greatly as well. The plants are all level 35, so your best hope at all is people light in a party of 8 for those. And the dragons are always killed on the multiples of 5 chains, but even on 5s, the dragons still give people light a majority of the time. You will occasionally get a gentle light, but gentle light is equivalent to most of the NMs in Pagos. So what you're really hoping for from Forge is when the dragons mutate. And that is so rare that your chance of getting decent light from Forge is extremely low. And for this reason, it is just worth more of your time to follow an NM train than to actually farm the Forge with a full heatman party. I believe that the best method is actually solo leveling, or soloing level 36 monsters. And in all honesty, I tested a lot of things, but I found that the World Serpents and the Boo-Boos were really ideal for this. Level 36 monsters will always give gentle light on regular kills, which is equivalent to notorious monsters. But the real joy comes in light gained on the multiples of fives, which is always bright with these monsters. In testing the World Serpents alone, I hit 14 bars of light in under 2 blockouts. And the RNG is decent enough that you'll see multiple gentles and multiple brains. The kill speed is decent. It's not very fast, but it's not too slow. And I could even chain up to 30 on the serpents if I pay enough attention and play really well. Of course, this was using the elemental bonus gear from Hidados as a warrior, but most of my healing is from the Eureka potions, and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of untested jobs that can do this as well, granted that you have the gear. And even my warrior is not full plus two elemental gear, and I'm only running five magicite, no speed belt, no cast earrings. So there's a lot of room for improvement in this method. And as an added bonus, if you focus on the boo boos, you can get mutations. And mutations are guaranteed feeble lights. And that is in complete addition to the gentle and brights that you'll already be getting from normal boos. And the only downside is that you only have so many magicite turns and really be nice to have a refresh in here. Now, there are three to four spawn points for the world serpents, and they are spread out perfectly for multiple people to soul farm these serpents. And the gubu are pretty decently placed as well. You only need about four mobs for the serpents. One of them to keep low HP at all times, so that you have something to quickly kill so you save your chain in a tight pinch. And then the other three that you just chain from A. And because there's so many spots, if 
uh, you know, any of them are taken, you can just move on to another one. But if this method became popular and all of those spots were taken, you can move up to the level 37 Void Circus. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, also, level 37 Storm Mantis. And even the level 36 Elder Buffaloes that spawn Holy Cow, as well as the level 37 Lesser Void Dragons that spawn me. Though I wouldn't be surprised if uh, randoms didn't start helping you kill those to help you spawn the head of Now, before you ask, I did try level slicking the bunny paint near the World Serpents, and my findings were that the light never changed. I was still getting gentle and normal kills, and bright on the multiples of 5, so a plus 2 level solo did make a difference for me. And I also found this when I was soloing the Void Street because still don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. I was getting that gentle and normals, and I was getting that bright on the chains of 5. Though with the level 37 solo, I couldn't chain past 15 or 20 if I recall correctly. So, what can I say about the Pagos Light Grind? The solo light grind is the most reliable that I have found in all of Pagos. Even getting two bright lights is worth skipping over most NMs. Though I would definitely still do Cassie and Luffy, which spawn pretty frequently nowadays. I think if you're grinding out anything that's giving you feeble lights, then you're just making the grind longer for yourself. In my experience at least, I do only play Warrior, Black Mage, and Healers in Eureka, so your experience may differ from mine. I'm also curious how decent light gains are when doing, say, level 37 or 38 mods, maybe even higher. It might be better even than the solo method. But that's another test for another time. That's all I have for now, so say goodbye to the Lollafell, and we'll catch you next time.